Hey there, friends. Nibs again. Out in the garage, doing a little bit of goofing around tonight. It's uh, pretty frightful weather outside, so I am very glad for my uh, <clears throat> nice heated garage. It's actually pretty cool out here right now uh, because of the wind uh, blowing through, but this uh, the d garage doors aren't quite as uh, insulated as the house doors are. So, but uh, yeah, we got a little ice and snowstorm coming in. Uh, past couple hours and still coming in now <clears throat> so I stocked up on my uh, milk bread and eggs and uh, pellets <laughs> plenty of pellets so I'm, I'm all set but uh, I got this uh, hot sun volt uh, PCP compressor uh, gift from the uh, FBA family and I was really appreciative of that but one of the things that I noticed with it was the uh, temperature gauge was not working and uh, I took the batteries out and uh, they were dead they were only reading like half a volt so um, hopefully that's all that's wrong with it I went to the hardware store and picked up a pack of new batteries uh, these are they're a LR44 little little watch type battery 1.5 volts real cheap so but uh, I thought I'd do a little t tutorial for you guys and show you guys how to swap these out uh, I did see a couple of guys complaining online that their uh, temperature gauge was not working on their PCP pump and it's probably all it is is a dead battery so um, I've already taken the screws out of the cover that'll save a lot of time for us on camera here but uh, say so there's screws on the side and top both sides but then the uh, cover lifts off and there is a, a fan attached to the cover and I've already disconnected the connector from the relay board that's down inside there. So <clears throat> got to make sure you hook that back up because uh, that's very important for cooling the uh, pump. I'll give you a little bit of look under the under the hood too, so to speak, uh, once we get done with this. But uh, so I found it real easy to take this thing and uh, lay it down on its face. Uh, let me see if I can get you guys a, a good look inside here. So the uh, temperature sensor is just ran by batteries, by these two batteries, and it doesn't ever shut off. And it's got a little cable that comes over here and attaches to the uh, to the pump and just reads the temperature of the pump it says in the manual you don't want it to go over 190 degrees Fahrenheit um, so it's I thought it would be very important to get this working before I started using it to pump up my uh, my new beam in here but, uh, so just take a little screwdriver it's just got a little cover that pushes uh, towards the center on snaps and then pops open I did put the uh, the dead batteries back in there just so you guys could see it, but uh, pop those out. This is pretty easy, so my screwdriver's magnetic. Yeah, that's good. And then you take your two new batteries. Don't get them mixed up with the old batteries. Pop that one in there. Okay. Close your cover back down, slide it back over, and let's see what we got. And uh, the temperature is telling me that it's 57.9 degrees in my garage right now. That's actually pretty comfortable. I, li I like I like it cool. <laughs> Go in the house and it's 70 some, but that's uh, not my choice, not my choosing. But uh, so let's uh, give you a little bit of a look under the hood here. Tell you what we got inside of here. Let's go on this side first. Um, so here's the the pump, and uh, this is the 12 volt power supply. So then the it actually has uh, an AC input and a DC input. When you're doing this, make sure you have this thing unplugged when you ever take the cover off of this thing, because the AC lines and stuff are exposed if you have the cover off. But uh, that's the 12 volt power supply. <clears throat> it's a pretty common one. I work in uh, electronics for my career, and 
I see uh, power supplies like that all the time. This would be very easy to source if the power supply ever went bad. Um, this is the pump for it. Uh, it's, it's an open base design, no oil. And then the, the piston head here, tube comes down here to the uh, outlet and it has a pressure sensor on there. <clears throat> Turn it around. So on this side, there's the pump motor here. And uh, this is the relay board that actually turns the DC on and off to the pump. So you, you've got your input for your DC here and your input for your AC here on these little green wires. <clears throat> what else we got? Here's the control board. I don't know if you can see that really well right here. That what uh, has all the smarts on it for sensing the uh, the pressure and shutting it off. But anyway, pretty uh, pretty simple little design. I didn't know what was going to be inside of it, so I thought it would be interesting to show you guys while I had it apart. Bring you back up here. It's a fun little adventure uh, getting into these PCPs. Uh, something different. And you guys know I like my uh, my pump ups and my springers. Um, <clears throat> so something new I'm getting into. Uh, hopefully next week I'll be picking up a Benjamin Marauder as well. And this will be a lot of fun to pump that up too. Uh, both of these guns are maxed out at 3,000 psi. So this pump's got more than enough uh, oomph for all of that. But uh, I've got a, uh, a desiccant trap on the way uh, from Amazon. And uh, once that gets here, then we'll start pumping the gun up and shooting it with it. And uh, we'll have a lot of fun with it. But I, I, I played around with it a little bit, uh, just pumping up the, pumping up the hose with the, it's got a, actually a little dummy plug that you put in there and then also pumped up the gun once and it did a pretty good job so it only took a couple of minutes from uh, 2,000 up to 3,000 so that's uh, and it, I didn't figure there was going to be any ch uh, chance it was going to overheat so uh, but I did want to let you guys see that uh, changing those batteries out and see how easy it is just make sure this thing is unplugged because I don't want anybody to get electrocuted and uh, have that come back on me I wouldn't be able to sleep at night but <clears throat> anyway, thanks a lot, Will, and uh, thanks for everybody watching my videos. I hope you like this one. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Till next time, have a great day.